All right. Um, <clears throat> this is the uh, replacement shield tablet from the recall. So I'm doing an unboxing of that. I said I would do that. Uh, and uh, basically no way I wouldn't. <laughs> um, and this came with it. It says, read this first. Warning, when you set up the new tablet, the... When you set up this tablet, your old tablet will be deactivated and no longer functional. I can't test that. <laughs> my, my tablet has been dismantled because I removed the battery. So, uh, oh, and here's, uh, here is the offending battery that came out quite roughly. Uh, yeah, so we'll be tossing that or whatever. Maybe, I don't know, whatever. Anyways, it says, before turning this device on, please make sure that you have backed up your data on the old tablet, including the photos and video. I didn't do that. I don't care. I don't give a shit. I don't have any photos or video, and I'm always re-downloading everything. <laughs> After you backed up your tablet, charge up and activate your new device. Remove accessories from the old device, including micro SD card, memory card, uh... On LT tablets, transfer your SIM to your card to your new device. We will ship you a return kit for your tablet in the next few weeks. Please hold on to your tablet and follow the directions in the return kit to ship it back. Now, from from NVIDIA, from the people uh, at NVIDIA, they have actually said that they are going to just dispose of the tablet for you. And it's like when reading this, it's like, huh? So, you know, nobody really knows if we can just get rid of the tablet and not send it back because they're just going to dispose of it and you can just dispose of it yourself. That's basically what they told us specifically on the forums is that we could just dispose of the tablet ourselves. Um, and yeah, whatever. However, that's what it says. And yeah, then it has um, numbers to call. And I guarantee you, if you call that number and ask the question that I just mentioned, they probably won't have an answer for you, because they never do. Um, well, that's been in the experience with a lot of people. I've never called these uh, NVIDIA before, because normally they just tell you what you can figure out on the, on the forums. So that's that. So now we're going to unbox this, and uh, I'm going to try my damn to figure out uh, a lot of people are saying these are new, but uh, some people have gotten some questionable... Well, one person I know of, at least. I can't say some. Uh, one person has gotten a questionable build quality on their device here. Uh, do I need to... No, they don't have that tab, pull tab like on the Shield TV. Okay. So, add up. Pick this up. Hopefully this won't have that kind of annoying build quality. Someone already has to RMA their Shield tablet for a second time. And as you see here, it says it's in plastic. It's wrapped up in plastic. Um, and we're going to go over this and see what it what the quality is. I'm not too... Um, I don't have much faith in, in refurb, so... Some people, I guess, have had better... Uh, experiences than I have, and some people haven't, but, yeah. Okay, so this supposedly has the new battery. The back doesn't look like it's in bad condition or anything. I don't go over this video, I, I don't remember doing this, but I have a vague rec recollection. I see fingerprints on it, that's all, but it may be from me. Um, so, I'm going to just take a look at the, at the area that used to crack all the time and see if I find anything uh, other than seams. So far, it's looking good. Uh, what's that? That's, I think that's just a smudge. Yeah, I don't see any cracks. Uh, Nothing like that. Hopefully it doesn't happen, because that didn't happen right away normally. Alright. No 
Okay, so I don't see any cracks. And this is the tablet, uh, so no cracks. Feels like the button. Let me see. Yeah, it seems like they they uh, the button is a little bit further out. Like it's not as recessed as the old tablet, and there's a little power in it. So hopefully the screen will be okay, and we won't have a device that is. Um, it's an annoying screen issue. Hmm. I was checking around the, the old tablet, there was like a bit of a, it, the glass came up a little bit too high. Seems like a little bit on this side, it, it's, you could feel the glass here, and then it's the same on the other one. Okay, somebody said they had uh, dust under their screen, so I had to check that. But this seems to be good. Um, I'm not going to give you that. <laughs> I don't care if you know a couple uh, words or whatever, but, uh, oops, I put the wrong password in, so it wouldn't even have mattered, mattered because it's not even the right password. So it's just going to tell me it failed. Nope, don't save that, because that is wrong. Forget. Nope, I don't want that either. So I'm just putting in my password. I'm going to put in the proper password this time. Okay. So, now we we should be connecting. Let me see if I can get this to focus a little better. Let me see if I can get it to zoom. No, it's zoomed all the way. <laughs> Software update. I'm going to put in my information off camera. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that would be smarter. Let me see. No. Okay. Concerned about the, the quality of the screen having dust under it because somebody else had that. So I keep seeing, I guess, dust falls and it gets on the screen. But it's not under the screen. That's a good thing. And I will be seeing if the battery heats up like the last one. Um, see if anything like that occurs. We're ex now accepting the, all the information that I entered for my Google account. So, I think we can put it here now because I put all that info in. Okay. And now, <laughs> restore it from my phone. Now, nah, I'll just set it up as a new device. And I'm just going to finish the setup here and show you what goes on. And we have an update. So here's the device. Um, not sure what uh, what software this is running. I know it's Lollipop, but I'm not sure exactly which version of Lollipop this is actually running. But there is an update. But uh, so far I'm looking at it. It looks new. Um, yeah, so it looks new. Let's see if there's any information on it that can pinpoint, you know, if it's new or a really good refurb. Uh, but it, it's, so far it's looking new. I kind of question everything because I'm a, um, I'm a nut. Um... So, we are now updating, it's updating to 3.1, uh, the thing there, system-wide optimizations, including audio, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so I think this is the, uh, this is the, uh, whatchamacallit, the last update that it's, it's taking here. I'm going to put that down here. And I'm going to just show you the obvious, the content, so you get the whole power brick again. So, get a power brick. Yay. And you get the, the cable. So, get the cable. So you get everything in the box. Um, apparently this comes with an adapter. I was assuming for my country, um, US adapter. And that would be that. And this would be this. <laughs> uh, let's see. Boom. There it is. 
Okay, so we got that. And I think that's it, yeah. There's nothing else in there. Um, and while, while I'm here, I have the old shield tablet. I'm going to show you uh, the condition. There, are, there, are, there is some damage for me taking out the, the battery, so I'm not, I will point that out. Meaning, I will point that out as being something that I did and not something that happened during the course of, uh, of uh, you know, like right here, I can actually get that to focus properly. Let me try to, anyways, uh, yeah, <laughs> right about here there's some glue and stuff but right here there's this gouge from me using a knife to pop open the back but uh, there's a crack right here I wish I could get this to focus better but I'm using my phone there's a crack here and there's like a lot of places where I actually glued cracks to keep them from you know getting worse there's a big ass crack right there I didn't even notice that one, uh, but yeah, there's crack. That crack, that's where I put glue on it, like crazy glue to try to keep it together, keep it together. And uh, yeah, there's a crack near the uh, right here. This thing right here, there's a crack right there. So there's a lot of cracks on this thing. It's all cracked up. Um, there was a blemish on the screen, like in this area, that was really annoying when you had a uh, web browser up or anything that was really light or white. There was this little dot on the screen, drove me nuts. Other people had that as well. There's also a crack on the camera. Where the All right, uh, my camera died, and I'm back hours after that happened because, uh, well, the camera didn't die. Um, it's my phone, but my phone ran out of space so I had to transfer the video file to my PC first all right so finishing off this video um, last thing I was speaking about was the camera uh, having crack it was cracked right here I have since uh, actually put away the old shield tablet in the old box um, it came in uh, so I've had a little time to fool around with the the tablet um, and it works fine. Um, let's see. I haven't rooted or anything like that. Uh, I've been wanting to do the rest of the video. And, uh, yeah, I ran some games. I didn't run, it, run anything that intensive. Um, but, yeah. I'm sorry I can't mention anything about that kill switch that uh, NVIDIA has been talking about. That if you activate your new tablet, the other one gets deactivated. My mine was deactivated by me, um, and that's ready to go back. Though um, they're basically they just want you to they just want to throw the thing out, honestly. So it doesn't really matter what you fucking do to it. Um, whatever. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna root this thing, and we'll be back to some shield tablet gameplays. So I want to show Minecraft uh, Pocket Edition has updated to build 8 which fix, fixes controller support like completely so it actually fully works like on build 3 it worked but it didn't work you know it had sticky button issues some of the things you couldn't do but build 8 it really works right and there's the full weather um, stuff and a lot of other stuff in it so I will be doing some videos of that and yeah, so I gotta load this thing up. Oh, I just realized I lost my freaking 64 whatever gigabyte uh, memory card. I gotta go look for that. I put it away aside somewhere where I thought I'd remember it, and now I can't find it. So, yay. I'm gonna have fun looking for that tonight. Uh, but that's the, uh, the refurb. Uh, I'm the refurb. No, that's the tablet. Um, if it is a refurb, it is amazing. Honestly, this uh, I, I could not find a flaw with it at all. So, no flaws at all. For now. Hopefully it stays that way. Because if it does, I could then finally 
uh, recommend people to purchase this. Before, I would never recommend anyone to purchase it. But if the cosmetic part of it can stay correct, <laughs> um, I can then highly recommend the Shield Tablet because it does function well, but my, my issue with the original one I had was all the cracks and all the, the issues with the screen and everything else. And it really is a great tablet, it's just when you have issues <laughs> such as that, you know, I don't understand, I have to, I have to do this for a second, this is the old tablet. I, I, no, that's not supposed to be a reflection. There's like a bezel in the image, it goes around here. And it looks like it's kind of like a, probably more like a plastic kind of chrome look to the bezel. And I was looking at it like, maybe that's supposed to be a reflection, but you can see it all the way around, and it doesn't look like it's supposed to be a reflection. So it's kind of weird that they did it like that. I mean, why didn't they actually do that on the actual tablet itself? But whatever. Who cares? <laughs> it's just odd that they don't show... It. They show it on here, and they show reflections. It's, a, it's quite a bit different. You can see that there's a reflection on this, but here it looks like a, a bezel. So, I don't know, whatever. I had to point that out because it just popped up in my head. <laughs> uh, and the box is exactly the same, so I don't think you care. Maybe you do, I don't know. But uh, I've already paired up my Shield controller with this tablet. And, uh, yeah, so I hope everything goes well with it. I would really love to be able to um, to recommend this tablet to people, but I really can't recommend it to people if it's going to start cracking and the screen's going to start being a piece of crap, or if something weird is going to happen, then I can't uh, uh, recommend it. But um, if it stays in the condition that it is now, I will really recommend this, like fanboy style. <laughs> All right, so thank you for watching, and yeah, thank you for watching, and I hope everything goes right if you're waiting for a uh, replacement. Some people, one person didn't seem to not have such a good, good, uh, yeah, good time with it, and they have to, you know, arm again, but most people seem to be having uh, uh, good experiences, so... Good luck. Have a good day. Or night. And stuff. Thank you for watching.